Hi, my name is Talisha and welcome to our Kid City lesson for the day. Today, we will learn about how Ezekiel tool told about a future hope. Did you know that when you are first born, you have 270 bones in your body? That's a lot of bones. I didn't even know that. But what's even weirder is that by adulthood, so like me now, I only have 206 bones. I wonder where all those bones went. And today we will learn a story about a man who saw a valley with many bones in it. That could be kind of scary, but we'll learn what happened wasn't scary. In fact, it was amazing. Let's watch the video to find out what happens. Hello friends, I'm Megan and this is Jesse. Guess what? I got the best present ever for my dog, Max. Look, a dog bone. I'm sure Max is gonna love it. Oh, I know he will love it. Bones are his favorite. He loves bones as much as I love cheesy blueberry mashed potatoes. <laughs> and that is a lot. We are actually talking about bones in today's Bible story, Jesse. Really? Are there dogs in today's Bible story too? No, God gave Ezekiel a vision of a valley full of dry bones. Uh, that sounds kind of weird. Yeah, it sounds a little weird to me too, but God had something important to say to his people with those bones. Let me tell you about it. God gave Ezekiel a vision. In this vision, God took Ezekiel to a valley. The valley was filled with old, dry bones. Ezekiel walked through the valley. God asked Ezekiel, can these bones come to life? Ezekiel said, God, only you know if these bones can come to life. God told Ezekiel, talk to these bones for me. Say, dry bones, hear what God says. I will give you breath and you will come to life. I will give you a body. Then you will know that I am God. Ezekiel did what God said. He began to talk to the bones. All of a sudden, there was a rattling noise. The bones were moving and coming together like God had said, but the bones had no breath. God said to Ezekiel, talk to the breath for me. Say, this is what God says. Breath, come into these bones, make them alive. Ezekiel did what God said. He talked to the breath and the breath went into the bones. The bones came to life and a big army stood up in front of Ezekiel. God told Ezekiel what was happening. God said, my people are like these bones. They think they are dried up. They do not think they have a future. I want you to talk to my people for me. God's people had been taken from their homes. They were living in other countries and working for other kings. God's people were sad. God told Ezekiel what to say to the people of Israel. Say, I am going to bring my people back to the land of Israel. I will give them life in their own land and they will know that I am God. Then God told Ezekiel to pick up two sticks. The first stick was for the people of Judah and the second stick was for the people of Israel. Ezekiel held the two sticks together in one hand so they were like one stick. God said that he was going to bring Judah and Israel back together. They would not be two separate nations anymore they would be one nation. God's people were also going to get a new king. This new king would be like a shepherd. God promised that his people would go home to their land and they would never be taken away again. I will be with them, God said. I will be their God and they will be my people. God showed Ezekiel a valley. It was full of dead bones. When we disobey God, 
We are like those dead bones. But God gave us Jesus to take away our sin. When we turn from sin and trust Jesus, He gives us life so we can be with God forever. Even when God's people were in exile, and exile means to be removed, so God's people were removed from their land. God's plan was at work, and God planned to bring His people back to their land and give them new life. And God would restore Israel and give them a new king, Jesus. And God showed Ezekiel a valley of dry bones, and the dry bones remind us of what we are like because of sin. And God showed Ezekiel his power to make dead people alive. And we see God's power at the cross too. Jesus died and rose again to save sinners. And Jesus gives us eternal life. Let's review our big picture question and answer. Remember, God's people were in captivity because they disobeyed God. We know now that we can't do anything to earn God's favor. So why should we obey God? We obey God because He loves us. And God planned to bring His people back to their land and give them new life. And in addition, He promised to change their hearts, giving them the power to love and obey Him. Let's pray together. God, thank You for giving life to dead things. You created each of us and breathed life into us. You sent Jesus to save us from sin so that our hearts can be made alive in you again. Help us to trust you and love you and show us what it means to be spiritually alive and help us to live that way for you. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. And don't forget, God sees you and he loves you very much. Bye!